Hello, and welcome to our channel. Today, we delve into an important topic in genetics and pediatric health known as Edwards syndrome, also referred to as trisomy 18. Edwards syndrome is a rare but serious genetic disorder caused by the presence of an extra copy of chromosome 18. While there are 23 pairs of chromosomes in human cells, this condition involves an abnormality of chromosome 18, leading to several health challenges. The extra chromosome can disrupt normal development, leading to various physical and cognitive disabilities. Edwards syndrome is typically associated with a range of symptoms that manifest at birth or in the early weeks of life. One of the most distinctive features of this syndrome is the presence of low birth weight. Babies born with Edwards syndrome often weigh significantly less than average for their gestational age. In addition to low birth weight, these infants may present with distinctive physical features, including a small head, a prominent back of the head, a small jaw, and low set ears. Furthermore, children with Edwards syndrome may exhibit clenched fists with overlapping fingers and have rocker bottom feet, which is a term used to describe feet that have a rounded bottom and a high arch. Other common physical findings include congenital heart defects, which may present as holes in the heart or problems with heart structure. Many children also face difficulties with feeding and may struggle to gain weight, which can contribute to their overall health challenges. Neurologically, individuals with Edwards syndrome may experience developmental delays. They may not reach typical developmental milestones such as rolling over, sitting up, or walking as anticipated. Cognitive impairments can also vary, with some children facing severe disabilities. Tragically, the prognosis for children diagnosed with Edwards syndrome tends to be poor. Many do not survive past the first year of life due to complications arising from the condition, such as heart problems, respiratory issues, and infections. Despite these difficulties, some children with trisomy 18 do survive beyond infancy, although they typically require extensive medical care and support. The severity of Edwards syndrome can be quite variable. Some individuals may have mild features and improved survival rates, while others might experience severe health issues that impact their quality of life. Diagnosing Edwards syndrome typically occurs during pregnancy through genetic testing, such as chorionic villus sampling or amniocentesis, or after birth based on physical characteristics or genetic testing. Genetic counseling is often recommended for expecting parents if there is a risk of chromosomal disorders. Parents may face difficult decisions regarding the pregnancies when there's a diagnosis of Edwards syndrome, and genetic counselors can provide valuable support and resources. There are no known cures for Edwards syndrome and the treatment primarily focuses on addressing the various health issues that arise and providing supportive care. This could involve surgery for congenital heart defects, physical therapy to assist with mobility and strength, and occupational therapy to help with daily activities. Palliative care is another important component, especially as many families face difficult decisions about end-of-life care options. Support networks and resources can be invaluable for families dealing with this diagnosis. Organizations such as the Trisomy 18 Foundation offer resources, community support, and educational materials to help families navigate the challenges associated with the condition. They provide a space for families to connect, share experiences, and find comfort in knowing they are not alone in this journey. In conclusion, Edwards Syndrome, or Trisomy 18, is a serious genetic condition that significantly impacts those affected and their families. With the extra genetic material, a range of complex health issues can arise that necessitate medical intervention and support. Awareness and education about trisomy 18 can foster empathy and understanding for those dealing with this condition. If you found this video informative, please like, share, and subscribe for more educational content on genetics and health topics. Thank you for watching.